guys welcome back to the channel to another video today we're going to take a look at something different again which i'm really looking forward to getting for my own layout but uh, a couple years ago now i got chatting to the guys at cavalex models so cav alex and alex's son will and got to know them very well in the end got very pally with them and it's all worked out in my favour really because I've got a very large box in my hand and it's got something very special inside it which I want to show you all. So as you can see on my desk is a very large box, very nice box actually. If we open it up, look what it is. It's the brand spanking new Cavalex Class 56 and it comes on a nice little plinth which is uh, quite handy. So with no mess around with ice cube packaging, simply pull the local out. It's nice and secure. It's not going to get damaged in transit, which is a nice feature. And uh, there we have it. Brand new, high detailed Class 56. So let's not waste any time. Let's get it out of the cradle. We'll chuck it on the track and get a closer look. Removing it, as easy as turn it over. Undo two screws that go into the fuel tank. It should be as simple as that. And there you go. There's the 56 in all its glory. So this is the first time I've actually had the full working sample in my hands and first impressions are very good. It weighs an absolute ton, so it's obviously gonna haul well. It feels like it's good quality. It doesn't feel like it's gonna fall apart in my hands, unlike a certain other 56 that we're all very used to. You've got a lot of separately fit detail on there, which really stands out and is quite striking. And it really does bring this model up to modern day standards. The roof and body side grills are incredibly well detailed. So you've got these nice etches on there and you can actually see through them. The grills up on the counter rail line you can actually see all the way through them if you put them up to the light. It's very impressive. And of course, you've got your usual etched fan grills up there, which are also extremely finely detailed and reveal the nice fans underneath. Now, the fans themselves are a major talking point about this model because this is something that's never been done before in double O gauge for the UK market. Both fans actually independently work. So it's not both together. It's both completely separate from each other. So you can have one fan spinning quite happily and then the other fan can spool up independently and they will work in time with the sound file and that's pretty impressive. So the underframe doesn't let us down either. You've got a nicely detailed battery box, compressor, and not to mention the bogies. The bogies are made up of an incredible amount of separately fitted parts to make them so finely detailed as they are. They can also account for drop-in P4 and EM gauge wheel sets if that's what you desire. So just to push the boat even further on these new models, Cavalex have decided to model this Colas example of the Class 56. And this is unique in its appearance in the fact that it actually has two completely different cabs at each end. So they've obviously had to take that into account with tooling and go the extra mile to replicate that. This model has the usual household favourite sprung buffers and it has kinematic NEM sockets, which unlike the other older version of the 56 we're so used to, these ones actually work. Also on the front end to complement the detail gone into the separate cabs, you've got extremely flush glazing that I know has took a few attempts to get right and I think they've absolutely smashed it. You've got these nice etched horn grills in the centre, multiple working sockets and those nice separately fitted handrails. So just one more thing while we're taking a close look at the model, just to show you the differences between the two cabs, if you take a look at the marker lights and tail lamps on this one, the way they protrude, and the front etched horn grill will then go to the other end and you'll soon see the difference. And there you can see it for yourself, the difference now with the recessed in lights and the smaller horn grill at the front. I think you'll agree, that is pretty cool. So there's one other feature of this locomotive that I think is pretty cool. 
I'm not sure if you would have noticed it just yet, but me being zoomed in on the roof is a big clue. And that is the fact that this section is removable. Not that you would know because it fits so well, but under there that reveals the 21 pin lock sound decoder. Once again, it's as easy as taking the roof off and there is your 21 pin decoder waiting for you. And you've also got an array of switches here, which I can only assume are to operate the various lighting functions on DC only. And to place it back, it's that easy. So it's all on magnets, you haven't got to worry about it. And they're also quite strong, so you won't pull them off by accident. So I'm pretty pleased with that. So here's where I guess you're all thinking that something this complicated must be very difficult to get apart to access, to fit crew, have a look at speakers, things like that. However, we'll do this in real time. One clip, two clips, three clips, four. And the body comes straight off. And how easy was that? Obviously that then reveals your 21 bit decoder. We've got some nice sprung contacts either end, which are, I believe for the cab light. We've got a sugar cube speaker paired up with currently an EM1 style speaker. I'm not 100% sure if this is staying or not because I know the guys have been trying out a few different versions of speakers to find what suits them best. So bear in mind this is a pre-production model. We've obviously then got the two separately powered fans at that end and the plugs for the relevant bits of kit as you'd expect. But yeah, easy as that to get apart. To get the crew in, you can pop the cabs out and they are full height cabs as well. They have the full seating. No need to chop your little man's arms and legs off to get them in there. To refit the body then, as I'm sure you're now aware, there are no screws. It simply is a case of slot the body on top and push it down and there you go. That's it fitted. So those clips seem to hold it very well. No issues there whatsoever. On the whole, I can't really fault this thing. So what I'm going to do now is, I suppose, get the thing running on the layout and show you it in action. Oh, nice. So it's changing the points, doesn't it? Actually, no, I want it over there again. In fact, no, I might just, I'll just, I'll just stick it over here somewhere.
doing it no problem at all. What was that, 29 wagons? <laughs> so if anyone's got any doubts about how much this thing can pull, there you go. <laughs> no problem. So I hope you enjoyed that video looking at Cavalex's new Class 56, which is the production prototype. Bear that in mind, there might be small revisions to come before the actual ones hit the shelves. But as it is, this is an excellent model and I really like it, especially with the different tooled cabs on each end. That's a nice little touch. And I'm really looking forward to getting my DCR example for my layout. If you've got any questions, you can of course leave any comments below but I would advise you go to cavalexmodels.com and check out any news and info on this model over there. You can also have a look at their new Class 60 info. And also, if you're going to any of the larger, more popular model railway shows, look out for their stand. It's bright orange, just like this. You can't miss it, honestly. And uh, I'm sure the guys, Cav, Alex, Will, they'll be more than happy to talk to you all day about this. They're as passionate as I've ever seen, so it's great to chat to them and you can tell that this is really a labour of love. So if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. I'd much appreciate it. Again, leave your comments down below. Please share this to anyone you think might be interested in this model, and I'll see you in the next one. See you later.